Today we're gonna try something new. Like I always do. Try to anyways. But you know when something works it works. This I'm not sure. Shout out to the tape thing as I usually do. Okay, maybe you stumble across this channel, this video by mistake. I'm so sorry. Anyways, uh, Gabriel Moreno here, Motivated Painters, baby. Uh, microfiber cloth, that's what I use to clean. Prime wash, uh, degreaser, pre-clean 0900. That's what I use to wash the panels before I paint them. And I also use a water cleaner, water-based cleaner, which is gonna be different for every company, really. But I don't use a tack cloth regularly. I only use my, uh, my microfiber cloth and what I do is I dump it a little bit with the water cleaner and uh, it's not wet and, and then I use it as a tack cloth. Works really well for me. And I can always teach. What you want to do is you want to blow it all through the same direction. Right, you see? I'm blowing in the same direction. I'm wiping in the same direction. Coming back, wiping things off. It helps to keep the job really clean. And I blow the top out of everything around it because if there's anything there, I would want it there. Okay? Now, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna tack the bumper as well. I got my Fuji Spray MPV8. This is a 1.3, and this is what I usually use when I'm gonna do a wet bed. This is two to one with a 494, a little bit of 492, and a little bit of 493. And this alone doesn't really change anything, so I'm gonna, I'll be, I'm able to apply it here and uh, all over. It's pretty hot in the booth right now. It's about 100 degrees. That's flashed off. Um, I got uh, the, the code here, M-E-N, and it's PPG and Virebase, of course. That's what we use here at the shop. And I did the uh, one part base and then 10 parts, 492, no, 492, 5%, 493, and, and brain fart, 10%, 494. Okay, I don't, now with this 493, the modifier, 492 or 493, the modifier, okay, the hardener for the base. What I do is I put them on different, I'll put them on each corners when I'm mixing them, right? I'll put one to the side and then another one to the other side and then another one to the other side. Then when I'm ready, I tumble it like this. I tumble it. I don't stir it, I don't shake it. I tumble it like this. That's what I found, it has had the best um, uh, finished so far and the best uh, way to to spray this base because before we were putting it and we we're just stirring it or shaking it and in some colors it would just be a mess it would kick over too fast I don't know it was disgusting so we brought it down to like five uh, five four percent um, for the TD for the 20 the T uh, 493 I believe it is 25 psi and since we put the wet bed it looks all nice and smooth and then that's already basically has a coat of base on it so I can put it on a little bit heavier heavier
put it on quite heavy. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the booth on bake for real quickly for like five, four minutes and uh, I'll, I'll blow all this stuff dry. All right, now that we got covered on that, we're gonna use the not so much left in there. I mix, I mix 10 ounces for that job. We're gonna probably double the amount of paint that's on there. Actually, maybe maybe half of the amount of paint is on there. This is gonna help us to uh, be able to lay that down nicer. Nice, 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 nice. And it's gonna help us to be able to get a nice smooth finish, which is what we want, especially on a silver, right? We're not gonna shake it, we're just gonna tumble it, and then we're gonna go into the boot. So as you can see, it already looks great. So now we're gonna do a couple quick coats with this, and then a control coat. And we're gonna keep it at 25 PSI, all right? And what you wanna do is you wanna find that sweet spot right there. away from the panel. Double control code is you put one on real quick, followed by another one. Just like that. Bumper, good to go. Double control code. Just like that. Let that touch off real quick and then you want to do another one. Just like that. And that's ready for clear. We're good to go. So I'm using EC530. And this is uh, mixed three to one to one. But I always go a little bit over on the reducer. We'll Remote that. 5075 harder. If you don't spray PVG, this doesn't mean anything to you. Do that as accurate as you can. Then I, I like to use this uh, reducer. So we're gonna go over it. We're gonna go over it. I do honestly, I do like 15 to 20 percent more reducer. So it's a hundred that we gotta put on. I'm gonna put 20 extra. It's like that. 17 extra. Okay? 17 uh, extra. So that's about obviously 17%. <clears throat> and that's it. I'm spraying with a 1.1 welcome. You can get these on my website by the way. And uh, I don't use them just because I sell them. Because technically I don't sell them. Um, I just sell the motivated painters edition. So I do sell them. Um, and this, just do a little twirl, a little twirl, a little twirl, a little twirl, 
and it's good to go. I don't need to shake this clear like crazy or nothing. So that I'm ready to go. Uh, this is a 1.1. I know 1.1 seems like it's very, very small. Uh, it works amazing for me. I love it. Uh, I obviously I'm working on you know Teslas and Range Rovers and and uh, some of those cars have a really nice fine texture, which is like almost smooth. So this the, this welcome 1.1, unreal. Uh, I don't have I don't have I have the 1.1 nozzle sets uh, on the website for the Carbonio Light, which is the welcome spray gun HTE Clear Carbonio Light. I don't have the nozzle sets for the regular Carbonio. So. But if you want, you can order 1.2 from the website, motivatedpainters.com, and you can put in the notes, please send 1.1, and I'll send you a 1.1, okay? Just because I'm a nice guy, okay? All right, let's do this. Got my little regulator. There we go. Obviously, we didn't have to do anything with that. That was just a blend. We got paid for it, so we did it. There we go. That's it. <clears throat> so it's been around 10 minutes since the last coat of base, so we're good to go. So how am I spraying with this? 29 PSI. Okay, fluid tip all the way open, okay? It's loose, it's loose, that's how open it is. Trigger all the way, okay? Fan pretty much all the way open, okay? So let's see, there's, it's, it's three quarters of a turn, okay? From full blast, all right? And then what you want is you wanna look for that sweet spot right and then you boom you go and this gun will rock your word i promise if you don't love this gun i'll give you your money back no problem about six to eight inches away and and I'm um, and I'm moving nice and slow really because um, that's where this base got this clear gun shines okay ready for a second coat
looking good. I had a little bit of a uh, tiny little bit of sand pile there. It's all gone now. Looks good. So there you go. I mixed uh, one five, 15 ounces, and uh, still got quite a bit left. So you saw how slow I was going. So, you know, that's what I like about this gun. It's extremely efficient. Because you know you're putting enough on there. You saw how slow I got, I was going. And you can see the texture is just right. And uh, you're putting enough on. But the, how close you are to the panel makes a difference as well because uh, because I was so close, but more going on the panel, less going in the air makes for a better paint job. I hope that's helpful. I love you so much. Peace out. Yes, you. I love you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel if you've been here for a while. Thank you for buying stuff from Motivated Painters. I don't take that lightly. Um, I do appreciate it so much. All right. Love you. Peace out. Um, if you got any questions, comment below. And I will try to my best to answer every question. Some questions go to spam for some reason. I don't have time to look through the spam uh, when it's automatically on there. But if I don't answer the question the first time, ask it again, please. Okay? I'm a human. I can only do so much. All right? Love you. Peace out.